Yep. You know, Blades of Steel is, without question, the best ice hockey game available in the Nintendo Entertainment System. I know a lot of people also like ice hockey by Nintendo, and it is a very good game, but I think it goes without saying that Blades of Steel is the preeminent uh, non-sanctioned National Hockey League slash NCAA college hockey slash junior hockey, whatever they call it in Canada, CHL. It, it's all over the place. Now I'll show you. And I'm doing a new series called Profiles in Austin, where we look at some of the old uh, great games of yesteryear and see if they really stand up today, and hopefully this one still does. So Blade to Steel, if you've never played it before, what do you need to know? Well, how about this? It's awesome. Just listen to that. That's the sound of bliss. I always kind of enjoyed Konami's games because they had the best voice quips, like in uh, uh, that one game, The Adventures of Bayou Billy, uh, or as originally called, uh, Crocodile Dundee, but you can get the license to Paul Hogan. So anyway, enough of that nonsense. Let's get to Blades of Steel. A terrific game. I'm going to play just one game here. You have exhibition mode, tournament mode. Presentation looks terrific, as you'd expect. And this is what I was referencing early. You've got a... Uh, three different uh, difficulty levels which actually kind of correspond to uh, the, the official leagues. I guess juniors like CHL, Canada, college like NCAA, Pro, National Hockey League. Uh, the problem with this game, probably the biggest is of course you don't have the NHL licenses, no official NHL players, so no Wayne Gretzky, no Grant Fuhr, uh, no Marc Messier, none of the uh, heroes of the late 1980s, unfortunately. Uh, you get a pretty scant selection of teams. They're all pretty much identical. I'm not really sure if any one team has a distinct advantage over the others. I always pick Los Angeles because, you know, of course, I'm a huge LA Kings fan. So, yeah, pretty much a uh, bunch of NHL nondescript uh, XBs uh, Edmonton, Vancouver, Minnesota, New York, Chicago. Uh, all these teams are still around, surprisingly. Uh, okay, I know in Minnesota, the North Stars went to Dallas, but whatever. So I'm be playing as Los Angeles. I think I'm going to take on, oh goodness, what's a good rival? How about Edmonton? The Not Kings versus the Not Oilers. Should be fun. The presentation in this game just is astounding. Uh, even though some of the characters do kind of like Ninja Turtles, but that's beside. It's beyond the point, if you ask me. But like I said, this game, just the presentation is fantastic. Uh, the tempo, the gameplay is great, uh, all the additional stuff, but really it's the gameplay that I think where this game shines the most, and let's just get into it. Oh. Yes. So I already scored already. A garbage goal on my, uh, Michelangelo, the goalie. Like I said, this is just really fun. I, there's not a lot of great hockey games on the NES, and I think this is definitely one. Well, it is the best, w without question. I haven't played ice hockey in forever, but it pretty much goes without saying. But it's just so fun and simplistic, and the controls are so smooth, and it, it's really a surprisingly accessible yet strategic game. Okay, I'm going to show you, because you got to play the goalie here. Oh, oh, never mind. So really the thing about this game is that you uh, basically, it, it's very strategic because you either play offense and really focus on it, or you can kind of uh, wait until you get on defense. Like basically anytime they get this far in, shoof. okay, anytime the, the opposing team, sorry, it's very intense action here. Anytime the opposing team gets over the red line there, that pretty much means you gotta go on defense and take control of the goalie. And this is kind of different because I haven't played that many hockey games where it's basically two games in one. you got the offensive side where it's very action-oriented and the goalie side, which is kind of a strategic. It doesn't really seem like it would work at first, but they actually pulled off pretty well. And this is a good example. That's the rule. Over the, the red line, you're the goalie. And, well, that's kind of weird. A nice half-court shot there.
And of course, if you poke the guys three times, you get a fight going on. Oh, come on. Come on, golly green giants. I wasn't prepared. I was too busy talking to you guys and, you know, losing. So yeah, that's the problem. When they get all, all, uh, super powered like that, it becomes difficult to, to stop them. Yeah. This is a horrible, horrible recap of the game, by the way, but I don't care. Doesn't matter. Play to Steel is great. You know, there was a Game Boy version, but I never played it. I wonder if it was, uh, is satisfying. Ah! Oh. Okay, okay. Serious business. Serious business. No more. No more goofing off. Okay, now we got a tie. So basically, I just noticed the LA Kings, they're basically uh, the same color as the Minions in Despicable Me. So for all of you uh, New Wave kids out there that have no reference points, Ninja Turtle versus Minions. That's what you get in Blades of Steel. But yeah, this game, it holds up incredibly. It's still so fun and addictive. It plays so satisfying on both offense and defense. It's a great two-player game. Doing stuff like that is just... It's really surprisingly uh, intricate in a way, also. Very easy to hop into, but it takes a while to kind of get things down, and it remains challenging. You know, no two games of Blades of Steel ever play out identically. And that's one of the things that makes it awesome. Oh. Okay, play goalie. 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 Play dangerous. Okay, 30 seconds left. Can I score? Can I score? Can I score? No, not quite. Well, anyway, that's Blades of Steel for you. It's just a terrific game in, in every category. Still holds up incredibly well. It's fun. It's frantic. You get the presentation like this. It's just an absolutely beautiful game. If you've never played it before, you really need to track it down. It's uh, one of the best 8-bit hockey games ever. And you know what? As the introductory installment of Profiles and Awesomeness, I have to say this game remains awesome. Thank you, Konami. Thank you, Blades of Steel. Thank you, hockey.